you're standing in one of those slow, barely moving cubes, patiently waiting for your turn. Okay, maybe not patiently, but there you are waiting. It's midwinter. The people you're sharing your space with are snotting, sniffing, coughing, and spluttering. <laughs> you seriously contemplate leaving and mumble under your breath about how inconsiderate and selfish people are, but the need to get your business done keeps you glued to the spot. <laughs> you try hold your breath or breathe through your scarf in a feeble attempt to avoid catching a cold. You'll be pleased to know it's not just your head that is having a panic-based reaction to those germ-spewing humans. The immune response is taking one look at the situation and freaking out as well. What's even more amazing is your immune system is so sensitized to the dangers of sick people, it's actually able to sound the alarm to get the body's defense system mobilized, even if you're just looking at a picture of a sick person, not a real person. This fabulous insight comes to us from a team of researchers based at the University of British Columbia. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover how to use coughing and sneezing displays to your advantage. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, the scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through Better Body Chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. The team from British Columbia showed volunteers two 10-minute slideshows before and after the slideshow viewing a blood sample was drawn. The first slideshow, which was viewed by all the participants, was designed to be pretty neutral. So it was 10 minutes of cats and things. The second show was designed to evoke some kind of emotional response. There were two options. Half the people viewed option number one and half the people viewed option number two. Option number one, the sickies. This slideshow was a collection of photos of sick people. Images included people whose bodies were covered with sores, people snotting, sniffing, and sporting runny noses. The kind of images medical textbooks tend to be full of. The second slideshow was a more skit and donor affair. It focused on guns. The team took the blood samples they had drawn following the slideshow viewings and popped in a few bacteria. They then measured the immune response playing out in each tube. The chemical they used as a marker of the overall immune response was interleukin-6, which is associated with a strong inflammatory response. It turned out, looking down the barrel of a gun was un moving for the psyche, but the immune system didn't bat an eyelid. Being in the firing line of germ-laden spitboils from visibly sick, snotty, sneezy people, on the other hand, evoked more of a oh, yuck response in the head and got the immune system springing into action in anticipation of an imminent onslaught of the microbial kind. Experts are always suggesting spending a little quality time focusing your thoughts and jotting down your to-dos before you hit the road running. You may want to keep a few shots of seriously sick individuals on the bedside table, especially during flu season. I suggest you glance at these horrific images. The worse they are, the better. 
to get your immune system primed for anything it might encounter during the day. Once you've got your immune system out of bed, worry about getting your head in tune so your day is as productive as possible. A case of thinking your way to better body chemistry. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com and browse our library or enroll in one of our free e-courses. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science. Know someone who is prone to coughs and colds? Share this video with them so they know how to get a head start against those flu bugs. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.